Are you ready, Lori? We're ready. All right, hit it. All right. This is a great looking design. We love this, I love but <laughs> I don't think so. So <laughs> what I'd like to do is to turn what the ugly text was into this. It's beautiful. It's got lots of paragraph styles. It's got a background for that text frame. It's got a three column text frame. The paragraphs are spanning across. But what I did not do is this. I did not make a bunch of text frames and thread them from one to the next and to the next. And I certainly did not do this, where I take a list and I thread and thread and thread and thread and make sure things line up. I didn't do it. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna set this up with object styles, woo, and paragraph styles that are embedded into those object styles. And I'm gonna complete this to what we see here in just a couple clicks. So you'll notice that I come over here to use this command called span columns. I think somebody over here talked about span columns earlier, where we can span that across the top of a multi-column text frame. So that's very, very cool. But if I come over to my final document and notice that I have this, it's called SS heading, and I choose my span columns, there it is, it's all nice and spanned. And now I'm ready to make my object style. So I'm gonna come over here to my text frame that has three columns. If you can see this at the top, I got three columns for my text frame. My text is spanning two columns, the entire thing, and select my text frame, find my object styles panel, magic menu, new object style, vote for me, <laughs> And my fill is black 10%, and my paragraph styles is off as a default. I turn my paragraph styles on, uh. and I choose SS heading, apply next style. I click OK, huh? and now I'll go back to this text, click on this boring text frame, click on my vote for me object style, and it formats instantly. In the last 45 seconds, don't clap yet. I can <laughs> go in and highlight these subheads. I'll go back to my paragraph style and subhead small, and I'll select my list, split and uh, the split in columns, and I don't have to thread all those little blocks. And the one last thing here is my subhead. And within just a couple seconds, I have formatted an entire page and saved so much time, 15 seconds, I've yes. gone out to lunch, <laughs> and then dinner, and then drinks afterwards. That's right. All right. That is good. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.